So, as you can see, I am not here today. That's okay. I still have artwork planned for you, and I still expect you to do everything you're supposed to do while you're in the art classroom. My sub will let me know if you don't. So, without further ado, let me show you what we're going to do. We are going to be using our rubbing plates today. Now, as you can see, there's a leaf on it. I have different rubbing plates with different leaves, and we're going to be making ourselves a picture using these things. And you're going to find that they're very easy to use. Okay, first off, you have your sheet of paper, and you're going to fold it. Wait a minute. That's not the first thing you do. The first thing you do is write your names on your paper. Okay? And write your teacher's name as well. All right. Now, after you finish that part, you go ahead and fold your paper like a hamburger. Now, we talked about hamburger and hot dog style. That's the hot dog. This is the hamburger okay make sure it's even and then go ahead and crease it and you're going to also fold it again like another hamburger it's like a double hamburger <laughs> all right anyway we get that folded and you're going to notice that it's the very same size as the rubbing plate that's cool isn't it we're going to use that in just a minute once you open it back up, I want you to open it and you will see you have four sections. I want you to put a leaf right there. You're going to put a leaf right there. You're going to put a leaf right there. And you're going to put another one right there. You're going to have a total of four leaves on your paper. You're going to use the same exact leaf, but you can use four different colors. And in the basket, of course, I have all of the crayons without any paper on them and that's going to come in handy all right now the easy way to do this is to make sure that you put the rubbing plate behind the section that you want to color and then fold the paper back up that's going to stop that rubbing plate back there from moving which is of course the one thing you really want to make sure doesn't happen you don't want that rubbing plate to move. Next, you're going to pick your colors. I guess I'll do green, red, brown, and orange. Sounds good. All of those are fall colors. Colors that the leaves turn when it's fall. All right, I guess I start with brown. Now, notice I'm going to leave my crayon on its side almost so that it can roll, but I'm going to stop it from rolling and I'm going to rub. And you're going to rub, rub, rub all over that leaf that's under there. And what's going to happen is the leaf actually comes out on the paper like that. How cool is that? It's almost like magic. All right. Let's open it up a little bit. And we're going to take that rubbing plate that's there. And we're going to slide it to the other side. And then we're going to fold it back down. Now, we already used brown. Let's put it to the side. Let's go ahead and use green, I guess. There's green leaves in the fall, I think. Even though lots of other leaves change color, some of them stay green. So I think this would be a good idea. We can use this one. You notice that I'm making sure that I get every piece of that leaf. And also, you want to make sure the leaf is nice and dark. And the way to do that is not by pressing down harder. No, 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 no. The way to do that is just by rubbing more. And that puts more of the color on the paper. And that's really what you want to do. You want a nice, dark leaf. All right? So that way I have one, my green one. I have my brown one. Let's see. Let's open this up. Oh, but I don't have any on that side. Well, let's fix that. Let's fix that problem. We're going to go ahead and take our rubbing plate. Now, this is where people may mess up a little bit. You want to make sure that you don't have it upside down. You see how the stem would be wrong if I, if I put it in there like that? Make sure that everything is the right way. Okay? Now, that's the right way. You're going to take and put a leaf in that section now. 
So we're going to fold it over. And it looks like it wants to fold this way, but that's not going to work because we want to rub right there. So let's go ahead and fold it back. Now some of you may be tempted just to leave it like this and rub it. You can, but it's always a possibility that this thing can shift if you do. And if it shifts, oh boy, you're in for a mess on your hands. So go ahead and fold it back. And then once it's folded, make sure that's shoved in there really good. That plate is shoved in there really good so that it doesn't move around on you. So that'll be really bad. All right, we got the brown. We're about to green. Let's go ahead with the red, I guess. Rub it on there. And I'm going to do this very, very quick because we're coming up on about five or six minutes here on this video and I want to give you plenty of time to do your own uh, piece all right and then once you get that one done you're gonna slide it to the side all right fold it over again and then we'll go ahead and do the orange one right quick all right this is a really easy assignment okay really easy assignment all right now when you open it up you're going to have your piece. You have the leaf in all four sections. Now, only things left to do is to color the background. Now, we put a green leaf in that one, orange leaf in that one, red leaf in that one, brown leaf in that one. The only thing I'm going to say about the backgrounds is don't use the same color in the background as you used for the leaf. Let's mix it up a little bit switch it around something like that you know that makes sense all right so then you just rub notice I still didn't pick my crayon up and color like you normally do I'm just rubbing it out rubbing it out rubbing it out and I finish with that one rub it out rub it out hey a little trick to this if you actually fold it while you're rubbing you don't have to worry about staying in the line so much because you know you just color the whole section that's folded you see what I mean and then you go to the other side that was green you can color that whole section green and when you finish oh I didn't bring my finished product let me go get it it's over here and here we go when you finish it'll look a little bit like that okay and it should be on the Promethean board for you to see too all right so there you go this is what we're doing and I hope you have fun.